Hey guys, uh, sitting here mounting up tires for a couple races coming up, and um, I was actually looking at a set of tires that I had borrowed last weekend, and this is something that had been talked about quite a few times before, or people ask about where to put the breather holes on the, uh, you know, on the tires or on the wheel, both, neither, sidewall, whatever, and everybody's got their own opinion on what's best. Some people see what uh, certain drivers do and they just copy and they don't know why, but they think, well, this guy's doing it and he can drive an RC car fast, so it must be good. And this is just my opinion on it. Hold on, I can't, I was gonna avoid this, but I cannot see. There we go. Um, I, I, when I mount the tires, I put holes, I put three holes Right here, some J Concepts uh, stalkers I just mounted. I'll put three holes, uh, one, two, three, about the middle. When you put the holes in the tires, you don't want to um, cut the ribbing on the inside. And some of the tires have different ribbing internally, so you wanna check that. They're not, not every tire is the same. So when you do begin your holes, if you do it this way, make sure you're not cutting through the internal ribbing. Um, this is a set of tires I borrowed. Um, I won't mention no names. Uh, got these from Zach and uh, he put them in the side here, which works fine. Obviously breather holes a breather hole. The reason I don't do it like this is because I feel that when you're tracking through the dirt, little stones, whatever it might be, that you're gonna end up, that that's gonna end up actually scooping some dirt in. And whatever goes in this is not ever coming out. So with, with obviously with the force, centrifugal force, everything is going to go to the high point and obviously probably to the center. It's never going to leave. Now, a lot of guys say, well, I do that so I don't get stuff inside the tire. I, I personally think, this is just my opinion, you're gonna get more stuff in and it'll never come out. Something entering the tire through the center while it's spinning, to me is, is damn near impossible because it's going everything is going to be ejected out. Even if something does get in there, eventually it's going to come out. So that's, what, that's why I put my holes in the center. I've seen drivers do this. I've seen super fast drivers do it. I've heard many reasons why um and to me it it's it still didn't really make sense i'm not saying i'm right or wrong i'm just a lot of people ask me why i don't do the sidewall and why i don't do the rim also again if you just do the rim nothing out here everything will get sucked in especially with that force and nothing's coming out so uh that's just my thoughts on it in my opinion i know a lot of drivers that do it this way I know a lot of drivers that do it this way. Um, this is just uh, my thoughts on it. And I was sitting here messing with tires and I had seen these and I seen that he did it on the side and I just mounted these. So uh, I figured I'd share that with you guys. So uh, again, I'm no pro, that's just what I do. And that's why I do it. And uh, that's about it. All right, thanks guys.